No cocktails or steak on this cruise, no power or hot water either. An Albuquerque couple is back home after an adventure on board the luxury cruise ship that broke down off the coast of Mexico. News 13's Jim Winchester joins us with their story. Diane, the husband and wife were hired to perform their magic show on board Carnival's ship Splendor. The ship is like a floating city, but after an engine room fire brought the cruise to a halt, they wish they could have made themselves disappear. It was really loud. The cabinets were knocking together. A minute later, we started to smell smoke, like something had, was burning. On Monday morning, Danny Cole and his wife, Stacy Suarez, decided the loud bang, the loss of power, and the smell of smoke was enough for them to leave their cabin. So all of this information has been taken into consideration by the This is audio of some of the actual announcements Suarez recorded of Carnival's cruise directors telling passengers to leave their cabins and get out on the deck. It was cold outside. Lunch that day, cold cut sandwiches and fruit after a two hour wait. The bigger problem, toilets wouldn't flush. That smell started to creep around the ship. Cole and Suarez were lucky they could stay in their room. Others had to sleep wherever they could find a spot. By Wednesday, the Navy and Coast Guard were flying in food, including spam. I think I did. I, I thought I, I think it was I thought it was ham. I wasn't that familiar with ham. <laughs> So I thought it was more of a ham sandwich, but yeah, I think it, in retrospect, that was a spam oh, sandwich. The couple endured and even informally performed their magic for passengers. But the best part of the ill-fated cruise? Being towed back into San Diego Harbor yesterday morning. The whole thing was just crazy. What would you call it? The crazy spam cruise? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Now, the couple did get a voucher from Carnival for a free cruise in the future, and they do say that they plan on using it. Diane, back to you. All right, Jim. Now, the ship was listing in placid waters about 40 miles off the coast of Mexico, a couple hundred miles south of San Diego. Naval experts, though, say it wouldn't have been a laughing matter if a cruise lost power in the middle of the rough Atlantic.